We don't have livers. I think Dougie's enjoying this. My mother and father would be so proud of me right now. Now, where are the grease points? Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Right? No. No, you were right the first time. <laughs> There's a bit of a strange mixture here. I know. I never thought I'd be servicing a, tr servicing a tractor, but... Is that, what, is that what the plan is? Yes. Long story short, I was sent about a month ago, well, could be three months ago now, yeah. one morning to get filters for Duncan's Dutes, and Duncan's Dutes is still not serviced. So, the John boy came up for the day, he's a big stock man, Typical dairy farmer has never seen a grease gun in his life. Yeah, just don't know what it is, you know. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to try and get him to service Duncan Toots. And by the way, this is my first time ever servicing a tractor. Ever? Ever. Never done that? No, no, no. We just don't. We leave that to the mechanic. Right. So. Well, it's not off to a good start this morning. We literally went to pull this thing out of the shed and there wasn't a kick in her. So I mean, like, she was dead, dead. Like. Dead, dead. But whenever we did get her going, I pulled the Jeep over and put the jump leads on her and there was a light sitting on her. So. At least I can say this is my first time up here doing a bit of work. Connor's just pretending to drive I can, I can easily say that's my first time in the grass main yard doing a bit of work too. <laughs> of any sort, so <laughs> right, we'll make an attempt at this. You're for doing the work, yes. and I'll try and keep you right. Yes, you're going to tell me what to do. Yeah. And I'm going to get out my Tommy Hilfiger jeans and Orn M. Williams boots. Posh Dairyman here comes up to do a bit of mechanic and then Tommy Hilfiger, so. I did bring a pair of overalls. What sort of boots is them, John? These are r and The milk must be good in the south. Oh, jeez, it is. <laughs> Got a savage price from Lakeland Dairies. <laughs> Give me a minute. Right, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do like a wee transition here, won't we? Yeah. Right, one, two, three. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, so that was smooth, hey. That was like the BBC. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right, John, tell me, what? what do you know about tractors? Or what do you know about service at all? Well, I know what a tractor is. It has four wheels and an engine and a PTO. Okay. Uh, service in it, you're basically going to take out Change oil filters and drop the oil. Yep. Change the oil, and that's, yeah. Okay. That's basically what I know about servicing. So do you know where you're starting then? Fuel filters are here. Yep. Here's, that here's two we prepared earlier. Smooth. What, so what's this? This is, that's the fuel filter. It is. Fuel fertation only. And this is for oil. It has a load of German or Dutch. Oh, here. For lube oil food. Filtration only. That's my word for you. <laughs> it is actually, that's the thing. Right, so where do you start now? That's the thing. Uh, I have a little oil changer, ratchet strap thingy. Where's that? Uh, but before that, where do you go? Drop the oil. Drop the oil. So where do I you drop the oil out of? Under the engine. Is there an oil pan? There is an oil pan. There's one we prepared on. earlier. No, I'm going to get gloves on. What? Huh? What do you mean you're getting gloves on? This is the first time. I don't wear gloves usually. But just in this case, I want to get a pair of gloves on because I don't want to get oily hands. Right. Because I am a professional mechanic. I can tell. You going mountain, are you? Oil pan. Wait. Oh, here. Carboard first. Yep. I mean, I, would, I think I would use the clean side to lie on, to be honest with you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm no mathematician, but something's no adding up here. That would be a good start. No. Oh, John boy. What? Oh, you're, man, dear. You're lying under that thing. Oh, God, my goodness. Ah! There you go. Right. Yeah. Your sump bunk is sitting there. Just the lower side engine there. That's all right. It's here. Yeah. So you need a, a Spaniard. Now, what size is your bung? I don't know. We'll have a look. <laughs> we'll give an estimated guess. And this is going to be a long video. Here, I should have clocked. That's how long. It's, uh... 12, 11, we start at this. We'll have it done for lunch. I'm interested to see what time we finish on. I'd say she's either a 17 or a 20. A 20? Aye. Uh, Is she sure it's a 20? Could be 21. So if anybody didn't see the Tullamore video, John is the newest recruit. And John is not a machinery man. No, I'm very much a stock, stock man at heart. Tell like. us about yourself, John. Well, I'm 24. Only young man, you know. 
I'm a short man. I don't see that in here. Do you want me to look in there for you? <laughs> Aha! Right. There's an 18, a 19, and we need a 17. Well, that's a 14. Try that one on the corner. Corner. Yep. Aha! I don't think you'll need an 18, but a five. Tear away. So tell us more about yourself, John. You're from a dairy farm in... In County Meath, so South County Meath. We're about 15 minutes from Kildare border, but we're not Kildare, and I don't like horses. You don't like horses? Oh, I hate them. I hate them. Same. I hate horses too. Now, one word of advice here. See, whenever you're slacking on that, yeah. that's going to be brave and warm, because that tractor was already right running. That's so true. Just, just slacking it, and be prepared to evacuate the dance floor. Use the ring end all the time, in case you slips. No, 19 is this going to be. Oh, so. All right, okay. Well, where are you going now? You lefty, Lucy, righty, tighty. Lefty, Lucy, yeah. So I'm going to left. You tell me, you're the mechanic. Lefty. No, oh, you're right. Push away, push away. No, push away from yourself. <sighs> going to need a torque bar. See you young boys, hey. <coughs> I'm not built for strength, I'm built for longevity. Longevity. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had Holsteins. You're, Holsteins not, built, you're Hol not built for longevity. <laughs> Holsteins are longev lo have longevity if you look after them right. I actually can't get out of there open, yeah, honestly. I'm go with this thing, hey. Let me see, that's 18, 19 there. Don't try us at home, kids, because the thing is, you slip your knuckles and then you. Just go me for all the names under the sun. Oh, I see what you're at there now. That's a good idea. Oh, you have it. No, you have to say though that was brave and tight. Even you struggled. You don't need your hands dirty. You being a sheep man and all that. <laughs> you go and lie down. Or I'm tightening this on for you. <laughs> you can slack her again. We work hard in the in the morning, in the evening. Yeah. We do actually. Oh, oh spillage is leakage. At least my bones not on the palm. <laughs> we'll let that pour out for a minute or two. You're hand all right, there's a, there's a pair of old jeans. Hey, there we go. Right, you will. Like well, that's a hell figure, is it? So what do we do? We just let that trickle out, or would we put the bung in? Nope. You let her trickle out. That's so. That's the point of heating the tractor. Thins the oil. Then you get the most of the oil out. Then once that's sort now of... You, now, just, you don't want to start it with no oil in it, don't you? That's a good point, John, but I don't... That's the point of keeping the oil, oil on it. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Once that finishes trickling, you screw your bung in. Right. And then you screw your oil filter off. Right. Why can't we screw the oil filter off now? Well, because if we're going to need... The, if we're going to need, need our only drain palm to catch whatever oil comes out of this. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> That's in my first rodeo, John boy. So like really, there's nothing much out of that. Oh, okay, I'll give her a second or two. Look, nobody's in a panic. No, oh, that's alright. As long as we're red up for one to go for a panini. What would you normally get in your panini? Oh, you're getting, you're getting personal now, John. <laughs> See, I wouldn't be fond of a panini. Do you want the three digits in the back of my card as well? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Tell oh, us yes. about your farm. So, we milk 150 cows in South Meath. Um, I like my pedigree Holsteins and I'm into a bit of showing, heading off to Belgium with the Irish teams, the Euro European Young Breeders next week, so that'll be a bit of fun. And what else am I into? Just all around work and uh, have, <laughs> have my own TikTok channel, we're sitting at uh, 20, just over 20,000 followers, so if you want to give that a follow. Because you love getting the TikTok and he loves getting the TikTok. Oh, I have to give us a plug. What about the Grassmen TikTok? You should be focused on that. I though. know, I should be. We will. It, where it's all going to be inclusive. Oh boy, so we like inclusivity here in Grassman. <laughs> <laughs> right, is that finished, really? Yeah. I think so. Right, get that bong on there. Right, right now she was a uh, nineteen mil span. I don't think you ring end. Ring end. And I am going to pull towards me to tighten that. I don't think you'll need the two spanners on tightener anyway. No, just, no, no, no. Just sweeten her up. Do you know what torque you're setting that to? 105. I normally just go with FT. <laughs> I actually don't even know what that means, like. If you don't know what FT means, I'm not telling you what it means, I don't think. Anybody that does know what FT means. What, forward tight? Ah. 
Well, it's, it's something tight, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this actually isn't my first time working at this tractor because this tractor actually came out of the dealership where I served my time. Oh, really? And I actually did try to buy this tractor at one stage. Geez, I didn't know you had actually worked at a dealership. Oh, why? There's a lot of things I don't know about There's you, a lot Connor. of things people don't know about me, you know. So basically, I want to tell you a good story, right? Connor rang me last night saying, do you want to come up and we'll service this tractor and make a little video? So I said, yeah, no, bother. Now, my brother would be a big tractor man. Your brother is? Yeah, my brother is. He likes his tractors. And he, he drives for um, a fella doing a spinach farm. He leads a team and he drives a few tractors there. And I told him this. He banged his head against the wall and just said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what, what are you actually going to do? Like? And then my father turns to me and told me, you know what, I think you would need to read the manual of that tractor tonight because you don't even know where the dipstick is. Or what I even is a dipstick. I thought you said the girlfriend said that to you. The girlfriend and the father, that's, <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. A lot of people have a lot of faith in our John here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting, starting the debate of what we have hired. <laughs> I was wondering that too when Garrett said, come on and work away, but here we go. Right, right. that's a diesel filter. That is diesel, right. Yes, it does say diesel filter. This is the German speaking oil filter. It does. The straps on the top there, and there's a ratchet through there somewhere, about a half inch to go with that strap. You ever worked one of these boys before? Don't open that out of there. No. Just keep that on that. Um, That's the toolbox here, I think, maybe. Oh, it's in the toolbox. Yeah. Maybe there's one up. Look at this in here. Nope, that's one here. There you go. Ah. We only work with ignorance about here. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant a ratchet strap. Like a ratchet, like. <laughs> I never realized there's actually one of these. Honestly. <laughs> Boy, so, <laughs> right, you know how to drive this thing? Your bag of just <laughs> <laughs> Um, We'll slip this on. Trail and error. I presume you tell that tight. You hold this. Yep. And you. Keep it on. Right, go you the way you are, right? Just turn your ratchet the other direction. All right. There. Yep. So you keep that strap tight on her there? Yeah. Hey, hold on. That's right, going ahead now. Going ahead. That's her. That's her. Right. Can I just screw She's, her off oh, by I'll hand? Pull your strap off now. Yeah. Make sure your jump hand underneath. Screw away with them gloves on you. Let them me delicate hands clean. Keep screwing, keep screwing. It's getting slippy. Why so? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> hey, just drop that clean onto your... Cleaning? Yep, drop the whole, the, whole, the whole lot? Yep, set the whole thing on. Okay. And just let her drop as long as she's dropping under there. To be fair, you'd, you'd like to do this on a cold day. You keep your hands very warm. It would. Now, you see whenever you have them gloves on there? Yeah. You see the way you work them there? See whenever you pull that cap off? Yeah. I need you to pull... See that sort of gasket that we sealed there? Yeah. I need you to run your thing around that and create a bond there. So I think you can screw that on. Screw it on. Right threads again. You ever, you're happy with the oil in the gasket now? You know, I, have to <laughs> <laughs> I think there's more oil in that filter than there was in the one came off. There was. Yeah. Should I wipe it? Give it a wipe first. No, no, screw it on. You can give it a wipe after. Right. Because you'll have to write how many hours on her whenever she was serviced. Oh, all right. And then this will do her for 250. No, that she does that well, man. You need to go on square to you. You're sort of sitting at an angle there. Really? I know this does look like a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, we're learning. It's important to remember, folks, that not everybody comes out of the womb knowing how to do everything. So exactly, like I, I have the pleasure of knowing how to milk cows. Connor has the pleasure of knowing how to well, run I, after sheep. I can milk cows too. Rag. Yeah. And just tighten her up. We're going to tighten her up. She doesn't have to be FT this time, just. No, Connor, I'm just looking at your back. Yeah, huh? Great Yorkshire show. That is nice. Like uh, a shirt, do you? I do, actually. Now I know it has a sheep on it. It'd be better if a cow, but it is in Yorkshire, I suppose. So that's why I got it. They all like sheep up in Yorkshire. Good black face on her. And they're still available on the website, so get yours in the day. I know that. There's other ones coming too. So don't forget, merchandise on the website. Or go to the show. What show is up next, huh? Saw her playing match. Will I you be going? Might be here. 
I might be in a different country, but uh, that's a story for another day. Well, as Grassman's southern representative, I will be there. Boys, <laughs> boys. <laughs> is, that what you, is that what we're calling you into the southern <laughs> Right, what's next? Uh, fuel filter. Fuel but filter. Now, do we let this oil mix with the fuel? Absolutely, and you're not putting a bag in there. So just as people do, do know, I am actually a qualified farmer. I have a degree in agriculture and specialised in animal nutrition. Oh, really? Yeah, I am smart. I can tell. We don't have blippers. I think Donkey's enjoying this. This is the tractor that Connor wanted to buy when he worked. And we beat him. <laughs> I was a 19 year old with no money. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth, greedy, greedy fella. <laughs> took no, took it no, on the wee child. I know. Gareth was 47 and had money, so. <laughs> <laughs> Service tractor. She was flat when you went to start her. Mm -hmm. I put a new battery in that not that long ago. So I'm wondering, is there something wrong? So maybe test the do, first thing we'll do is test the battery. Because mm -hmm. modern battery, day batteries are absolutely pure dumb. Um, test the battery. And if the battery's showing up good, then we'll get it, make sure the tractor's charging. Yep. Other than that, that wee tractor's an absolute honey. You said you wanted John to grease the whole thing right enough. Okay, it wouldn't mean we need a wee shot of grease around the front axle and that just to keep it right. <laughs> Carry on, boys. Oh, and um, when you're at it, Big Doots is back together. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about the battery in it. Okay. Scanning a battery. We're actually going to do a bit of work now. You're going to let us go. Aye. <laughs> you do. Aye, but I want to watch. <laughs> Where are we now last time? That wasn't tight. Garrett, you're slipping up. That wasn't me done it the last time. <laughs> you see what you're doing that there? Let you let your drip. That's your oil cap there. Start you and fill the oil back into the other side of her. Oh, fill the oil? Aye, because you can't start without oil in her. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. Oh, here. Yep. Now, do you know what grade you're putting on there? What grade's engine oil? Um, we only use multi-purpose oil, 15W30. Ah, it's 1540s. It's some to summer. Yeah. Might be the other way. Gold juice. I was going to say it's like a Southern Craig. <laughs> oh no. No, you're not at that level just yet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Craig can edit. <laughs> Wait, don't you fall too much or it's coming out the spout there? Just one jug of oil or how many jugs of oil well, would you normally put into it? Start and fill her easy and we'll dip her because I don't actually know what we took out of her to be honest. Yeah, you wouldn't be far off. Eh? I will have to take that full jug anyway. Oh yeah. What's a, th this is a gallon, it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, another right. jug. Another jug. Well, half oh, a jug. Dip her? Half a jug half and a jug. see how you go. Half a jug and dipper. My mother and father would be so proud of me right now. Right. Will I pull this dipstick? No, you give her a second or two, the oil runs down. A second or two, yeah. I suppose let that oil tr trickle down. Now, where are the grease points? Can I just press this? And how do, you, how do you know how many pumps? Because normally it's three pumps, I was always told. Look, you're the top and oh. bottom of your hubs. Yeah. There should be one on that swivel point in your metal housing there too. This is the longest I've ever done actually mechanical work for. How, <laughs> what are we like for timing <laughs> here? Yeah. Will this have to be a two-parter? It might be, but this could be a full Netflix series way that's what's going on. I understand people might think we're we're taking the mech a little bit or whatever, but it's actually a very important thing. Yeah. It's basic, basic maintenance. I think if you're going to be driving a tractor, I think you, this is the minimum you should know. Exactly. Where's, my, where's my next grease point? There could be one front and back of the four-wheel drive shaft, and then you're going into your half axles. Right. On top or bottom so of your half axles. this is the four-wheel drive shaft you up may, here. Once you have enough oil in, John, you may have to tur start her up and turn her to expose the knuckle. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, no, that's fair enough. See where your right hand is there, John? See that sort of loose shaft in there at the base of your arm? Yeah. Just throw a bit of grease on around that. Like right here? Yep. Just because that's where she'll be swiveling. Oh, there's a good technique now. He's done that before. He's primed it with a thumb and anything. See them points there too, John? I did notice that. Good lad. I'm learning. You're learning. Mad. 
do it. Right, diesel filter, what do you do? Presume take off the tip. Hmm? Presume take off this. No. No, leave it on, sure it's on on the, is the other one. Right, do you know what you do with that first? Before you put that on, fill it with diesel. All right. Because if you don't, you'll air it off. Seriously. Might need, ooh. Just, <laughs> ease it. I have never. <laughs> do it over that bucket you can. <laughs> I apologise, Gareth, for making it such a mess. Next time you do it, you'll be eating this. Don't make me laugh and concentrate. Right Obviously, you'd be using your primer and filling and filling and filling. Ah, oh, sir. I'll turn out. I don't spell any. I help you. That's what Pretend that's a drink and a sour and eat. I'm just thinking this is a double ah, like a Red Bull. You might need more of that straw, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the muller will be giving off now. There's a wee bit of for you. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Right? No. No, you were right the first time. <laughs> Did it's bad face night too. Oh, sure. There you go. You're learning, hey? We are learning. Right. What's next? Right. An oil cap bag on. Or dip your dip your fry first. Fry. That's pretty good there. You think you've done that before, John? I know. Right. Oil cap bag on. Yes. Oh, that is the oil cap. It does. <laughs> You're right, going to be going and buy some oil now. <laughs> a couple of cards disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be for doing this. <laughs> Our mechanic will be still doing it. Where is, where is the bleed screw in this? That's your bleed screw here. Right, I need a... Well, you get a wee socket. I think that's maybe... I was going to go for a screwdriver. Might not turn away a screwdriver. Behind, but uh, well, no. you can try it, you see. Uh, no. Try and see. All right, size. No. Uh, uh, yeah, no, yes, no. Nine. Oh, that's screen sure. That's loose. Yeah. Maybe that's awkward. Oh, it was the same as uh, the big one. That's a 10 as well. Oh, that's a 10 as well. Ah, but it's loose. You only need to slide. You don't screw it out. You only slide it back to let it out. All right. Is there a hand primer in that thing now? Oh, it is here. Uh huh. See, at this point, I get fed up and just turn the tractor. You must. Put in the clutch car. Oh. No lights in the dash. There's a wee damn one in the bar, but not very much. <laughs> <laughs> oil changed, oil filter changed, diesel filter changed, you ever greased, yes. what's next? Will you check the battery? Take the battery. Do you know how to work this thing now? You're, leaving, you're turning the ignition, don't you? No. Connor's going to do the more experienced bit. I don't know how, how experienced this is, but let's see what we can do here. Right, battery test, enter. Battery type, regular liquid. EM, so it's like capacity is 1000 EM, bad cell, replace, there you go, maybe that's why that's where I bother us. So a bit of a bad cell. Works that way. We're going to throw the multimeter on her here and we'll test the alternator and see what she's saying. I think it'd be better anyway for, it's a day or two since I worked the multimeter. This is bringing back to your... Mechanic and days. Mechanic and days is maybe a step. <laughs> now you see if you're working on these things, 
do not touch the ends whenever she's plugged in. Why? Because you'll just burn the thing. <laughs> burn so yourself or burn your thing? You shouldn't be sticking your thing in it. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> that, that, that would be wise. Now, if I say we stole this multimeter off all of them, so wires aren't touching, that was on there. I don't really know what I'm doing here, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it comes with like a wee dial thing. I don't really know where I'm going here. Oh, it's like. Let's keep it, or just stick or not, we'll see what she does. See what reading she gives us. Yeah. 11.09 for a flat, well, not a flat battery, but for a battery satin. And for a battery that was just charged, probably isn't just that great. But we'll see what she does when she's running. We eventually got her started again. So we'll see what she's running at here. That's a week and off cycle. Right, it probably should be closer to 14. So it can be a combination of battery and alternator, but hypothetically it's a 12 volt battery, so anything over the 12 should still be charging it. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, I'm no auto spark, so I couldn't <laughs> tell you, but uh, it could be an alternator job, but you know at the same time. If you look in there, there's a slight belt there, maybe she just maybe the belt needs tightened up or something. I guess that's something simple like that. Do so. you want to check it out there? Huh? Do you want to check it out there? Nah, it's all tightened out there. So. <sighs> there's your alternator there. And don't get me wrong, there's still a belt driving it. Well, it's not actually that. It's not actually that bad, you know. It actually looks it when it's running. It looks it's worse, but it's not actually just as bad there. There's a bit of flex on it. It's maybe just had it stay. <laughs> Although if that's saying there's a bad cell on it, could that be a combination of the two. Like it's, yeah. there's nothing following me with a lot of confidence here. But I tell you what, you see whenever we're here, you see whenever we're with them panels off, we'll just give for each side just an overall check. There's no diesel leaks or nothing like that. Yeah. So if you look on here. Well, I like to think there'd be no of these leaks on here because the diesel's on the other side, but... No oil leaks, turbo isn't leaking. Not on there. That flank in there, but it's nothing worse. No, but... No, no, it seems dead on. See whenever we these panels off too. Yeah. Because she's the air-cooled engine. We're going to take this here. Oh, power yeah. off. And give it a bit of a squeeze, or a bit of a blowout. Is there air compressor here? I will take it outside. Just look for all the hours she's done. It's probably not even that bad. About a baller finding the hole there, but we got there in the end. I'll let you do that. It's, it's hard enough with one hand. Sure or not. I was <laughs> sketching off there, hey. <laughs> when he's doing that, I'm just going to take the lights and all, but a little bit of fun to turn the lights on there whenever she, uh, whenever she has a history of not starting, so. There's my indicator. Oh, there's another indicator. So, lights is mostly working. Need a tail light here. And a side light here, but then I'm wondering. Very coincidental, the two of them um, not working the same side. I wonder if there's a fuse away. There's a fuse box even on that side. The other ditch the fuse box that's here. I don't know where it is, but uh, I have to look into that there. That's maybe a fuse away or from a wire or something, but it's put it to the side. But we get it sorted. Yeah. Needs to come down to you, and. Where way does she go? There's a hook in the bottom. Oh, is there? Yeah. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, no, I think she's on the seat there. What do you think, John? I think so, too. I think I'll do it for the day. I think so. She's ticking like a clock. Right, you fact sure you pull her out. Huh? You fact sure you pull her out. Oh, have you ever seen this stuff in your life before? No, I know I haven't. Change. And what does that do? Change. See how that wee bit, look at that wee bit, John. See the wee shine? I do. <laughs> do you know where you get that stuff? Where? Where do you get that where stuff, Where do you get Gareth? that stuff, Gareth? On our online <laughs> shop. <laughs> <laughs> where is the power washer? This one is especially for water. That's a good. Odor kill. Oh, great, <laughs> great job. Get that thing out of here, now. <laughs>